the annual convocation of the Winners Family Worldwide is just two days away. Starting precisely on Tuesday, December 8th at 7 p.m. Remember, it runs between December 8th and 13th, 2020. Every participant should expect to return with the master key to a world of turnaround from Shiloh this year. Number two, good news. Shiloh 2020 shall be transmitted to 153 locations across Lagos and Ota. Check the church website, www.fetabernacle.org.ng or Shiloh 2020 website, www.shiloh2020.org for the nearest location to you and your invitees so we, we can all be full partakers of this holy convocation. Number three, praise the Lord. Please, please follow our authentic social media handles as displayed on the screen for information on Shiloh 2020 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, use hashtag Shiloh 2020 and hashtag Turnaround Encounters for sharing all Shiloh 2020 content on all social media platforms. Number four, Shiloh 2020 Expectation Prayer Card. Remember, it is expectation that defines the outcome of any engagement. Therefore, each of us must prepare our expectation and document them on the Shiloh expectation card. Those who are yet to receive a copy are to signify and the ushers shall put one in their hands. It is also available on the church website. Number five, covenant hour of prayer holds tomorrow Monday and Tuesday, time, 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. Number six, praise the Lord. Next Sunday at Faith Tamanaco, 13 December 2020, shall be our Shiloh Thanksgiving service. We shall be celebrating God for the diverse turnaround encounters and the mighty hand of God in our midst, we shall be holding three services only, time 6 a.m., 7.55 a.m., and 9.50 a.m., Jesus is Lord. It's testimony time! Please, this person should quickly approach the altar, Tamuno Emi. Let's put our hands together for Jesus, hallelujah. In this service, it is testimony time. Shout that a bit louder, my breakthrough time. Put those hands together for Jesus as the testifier comes forward. Put those hands together for Jesus as the testifier comes forward some more. Your name and what the Lord did in a minute. My name is Tamuno Amy. This, I'm from LFCD line, Port Harcourt. May this year, the COVID experience took away my job. But then, by God's favor, I was called to become a consultant for my company on a new project in Lagos. We started that consultancy, and then sometime two weeks ago, I was promoted from being a consultant to also become a contractor on that project. Last Friday, my former boss rose up against that move, and it became a lot of issues within the company. I came here on Sunday, Covenant Day of Divine Settlement, and amongst the wonderful and great word from this altar Papa shared, he said, this is a place of settlement. This is a place of covering. And he said, this week, that we're going to be a surprise to ourselves. On Monday, we went for board defense. This, and 
Sunday before the Monday, I was in the guest house. Standing on the balcony, the balcony caved in. And I fell from the one story. But then the Lord who protects the winners of this family protected me. On Monday, on Monday, I went for the defense. And after the defense, the whole board members approved the contract for me. We started that contract this week and we've been on record speed. Suddenly from leaving my job, I now have employees, not just in Port Harcourt, but here in Lagos. To God be all the glory. Somebody celebrate Jesus for that testimony. Please pay attention to the following documented testimony. Three years blindness terminated. In 2010, I had itching in the eye and I went for medical treatments where I was given a glass which I later lost. And since then, my sight grew worse till I could not see again. I only recognized people by their voices. I have gone from one place to another for help to no avail. I used to be a Muslim, but this challenge has taken me to many prayer houses. I was at home on Wednesday of Shiloh, and my sister who came visiting told me about Shiloh and brought me to Shiloh ground. Someone celebrate Jesus. As Papa was giving the testimony of the woman that rose up from the wheelchair after six years, I said to God that if he can do it for this woman, he should do it for me. Immediately, I told my sister that I saw someone wearing white clothes and talking. That is Bishop Oyedepo. As the service went on, my sight became clearer. I was led by the hand to the service. But after my healing, I walked from the service home without any aid. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Now, I can see after three years of total blindness. I return all the glory to the God of Shiloh. The testifier is Aisha Sunday. Somebody celebrate Jesus with a hand clap. Because you are next to share your Shiloh testimony. Let's make that hand clap bigger and better for Jesus. He's worthy. It's my year breaking limits. This morning is my privilege to welcome everyone worshiping with us 